Hello there, today's video will be about family safety on Windows 8. We will take you through a few steps. First will be to find the family safety on Windows 8, so where will we be able to find it on the actual computer. Before we start to do that, you'll need to decide if you're creating a local account or an email account. We'll tell you the difference of those two. We'll then go through a few steps of how to personalize or set up the Windows 8 uh, family safety for yourselves. And once we've done that, we'll just go through a quick user experience of the video itself. <laughs> I have the control panel on my desktop. This is a shortcut. Some computers have it, some don't. If I double clicked on that, it would take me to the control panel. Also, if I took my mouse and put it in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I get a menu popping up showing me different options. And if I click on search, I can type in Control. And as you can see, control panel is the first option that I have there. And I'm going to click on that. That takes me to the control panel. So depending on where you can access your control panel, that's where we need to go. The next part is the user accounts. And if I click on user accounts, you can see that I have a user account for myself using my email address. I also have the option um, on the side here to manage another account and that's where I'm going to add a child account onto my Windows 8. If I click on that I can then see all the users that I have already on the computer um, and just below that is the option to add a new user in PC settings. Select that and it takes me to this screen where I click on add another account. Now over here the system is asking us how will this person sign in. We do have uh, the email address option. We also have a local option. So when I click on add a child's account, you will see that we have the email option over there, child's email address. We can also sign up for a new email address if we'd like. Um, we have the option below there, don't want your child to use email and we can add a child's account without email. Now, what this really is, used for is if we log a child in using the email address that they use on all their Windows devices, the settings that we set within this family safety that we're doing in this video will apply across all of those devices. If we go to add a child's account without email, it will only apply to this computer. So that's the difference between the two. I'm going to add an account just without using the email. So when I click on that, the system asks me for the username, password, re-enter password and a password hint. Now just for the ease of the video, I'm going to give the username a quick name like kids. I'm also not going to give it a password or a password hint. However, I would recommend that you did that for your own children. Otherwise, anybody else can access their account and your family safety reports will not be accurate. So when I click on next, system tells me that I now have a child's account called kids. It is a local account because I did not set it up with an email address. And if I click on finish, I go back to the screen where it shows me that account and where I can manage other accounts as well. When 
when I now select the newly created kids account you can see that I do have a few options to make changes to that account I am now however going to go to set up family safety when I click on that I get a bit of information over here and I'm going to manage the settings on the family safety website so when I select that the system takes me automatically to the website where I need to sign in as the parent in order to make any changes. So as you can see this tells us the primary parent is myself and we have our kids accounts. This one I created previously and is now um, null and void. This is the one I've just created for the video. Click on that and I can then see all the options I have. Now, as soon as I created that child's account, the family safety was turned on. It doesn't matter what they do, you will get a report as the parent and you will see what they're up to on the account. If you come here, this is where you can set the restrictions specifically for the child that you've created your account for. <laughs> So your activity reporting, I'll just show you that. That will tell us where the child has been and um, how long they've been in there. So we can see what they're doing. As you can see, there are two different options here. However, that's just relating to those headings there. So when I click on them, um, it just goes to those headings. And as you can see, there's no information in there at the moment. <laughs> To go back to overview the web filtering this is an important one turn on web filtering to choose what kids can view online I can either select that here from my overview or you can see I can select that from the side of here as well so click on web filtering and this is off at the moment if I put it on I then have different options on what I'm going to allow my children to go in and see. What I'm going to do is I am going to go to designed for children and as you can see there it allows websites designed specifically for children blocks adult sites. This should block things like Facebook and that's what we're going to test and see once we've set this up to see if it actually works. The allow or block list over here is where you can put specific websites in that you would allow the children to see or specific ones that you would block that are not necessarily blocked by the system. So this is where you can um, personalize it for yourselves as well. You'll notice that there is no save button anywhere on the screen. That's because whatever changes you make are saved immediately. <laughs> The next one on the list would be the time limits and in here you have two options. You can either give the children specific time that they are allowed on the system. For example, two hours a day, um, maybe four hours on the weekend. Or you can go to the curfew option and say that the child is allowed to use the computer from six o'clock in the morning and they can then go off again at, for example, nine o'clock at night. So what I did there is I added the blue to the times that the system needs to be blocked. And at the bottom here, you can see that that's what it's telling me there. The child will now not be allowed to access their account between first nine in the evening there and seven o'clock in the morning. 